Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 140. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, in Trick 140, <coughs> there's some notes right there, but we're going to see how to do a sheet reference. A sheet reference. Uh, we all know how to do a cell reference. If we uh, click in this cell right here, type an equal sign, and then click on that cell, that's called a cell reference, right? And whatever I put here updates uh, right there. Now, a sheet reference just means that instead of a formula looking at a cell on this sheet, the formula is going to look at a cell on a different sheet. Very easy to do. So here we have a data set, name, email, date. And on this sheet right here, sheet 1, I want to simply uh, retrieve that information uh, from that record. So instead of uh, whereas when you when you do a regular cell reference, you do three clicks: equal, click on the cell, enter. When you do a sheet sheet reference, there's four clicks. So I'm going to click right here, equals, and instead of clicking on the cell, you can't. So the extra click comes in that you have to click on the sheet name. So equal sign is one click. Click on the sheet name. Click on the cell. That's the third one, and enter is the fourth one. Now, if we uh, click in the cell and hit F2, you can see that, oh, look, that's the name of the sheet. An explanation point is the character that tells the formula that's the sheet name, not a, some other name. And this A2 is the cell reference. Notice there's no dollar signs there, so it's a relative cell reference. You can click and drag sheet reference. So now we can see that now it's looking at C2. Now, if we wanted to format that, we could Control-1 and go to on the Number tab, Date, and then click OK. Now let's look at another example. Um, and this this first example is a data set, right? And so it's like we're storing data. And if we're ever going to use that data somewhere else, we can use a sheet reference. And then it updates. And we oh, the idea is if the data can vary, you put it in one sheet, like a data sheet, and then all the other sheets refer to it by formula. Then you have one central location. You can change the data. Let's look at another example. This is uh, an accounting system. Now most people don't use. Excel for their day-to-day -day bookkeeping like debits and credits. But if they did, here's how they would do it. Because the idea is the journal here is the book of original entry. This is where we come to record the this is the one place we record it. Even in modern accounting systems, you have some sort of journal. You enter the data, and then the ledgers and the reports that are generated from that source data are created. So this is the book of original entry. So you, you would come here and type this in and the date. Now, the account names you, you wouldn't type in. You'd have some sort of data validation, right? Because that's coming from somewhere else. Here's the chart of accounts down there. Okay, But this data you type in. So watch this. Let's click on this number 3 here. Here's a ledger. So I'll blow this up right here. So here's the ledger. And uh, we have our balance for it. So we need a date equals, we click back on the data sheet, click on the date, and tab. The posting reference equals, click back on the data sheet right here, and we have a journal. That means where, what journal, what page in the journal we got this from, and then enter, or tab I should have done. Now, um, let's go over here and see this journal entry is debit to cash, AR off the books credit. So we need a debit to cash over here. So in the debit we say equals, click back on the data, click on the, the debit amount, and tab. Tab. Here's a formula, so we, um, or, or balance, so we say whatever the debit was plus this right here. Tab. So that's the information. And notice we need a date format. So I'm going to Control-1. In fact, I'm going to highlight this whole column. Control-1, click on date, click OK. Right. So this data is um, in a ledger, which gets its data from the journal. Now, there's one last thing. This uh, uh, ledger number needs to go back over here. So in the posting reference column, we do a sheet reference, because the, the data is coming from the ledger. So equals, click on this sheet right here. Click on that 100, enter. And so now we've posted just that one line. Now the, the point of all this, and even up here, is you do sheet reference. Because if this is changes, right, you, you realize that this was not 110, but actually 1,000. You made a slide error there, right? Now notice, since debits have to equal credits, that updates too. That's a formula that's looking here. And sure enough, when we go over here 
uh, we have the fence that came up, which means the column is not wide enough. So there it is. So you uh, use sheet references if there's variable data. Uh, and sometimes you put it on the same sheet, but if there's lots of variable data, you put it on a sheet and then refer to all remaining sheets with formulas. All right, we'll see you next trick.